Another 793 C model. Complaint is the seat belt is BO. Let's check it out. Let's get into it. All right, you guys see that bolt way down there, right here? Yeah, that's my We're gonna take that out so we're gonna replace this handle. We're gonna do the easy stuff first, which is that one. Then we'll hit this one up. Also, it's a five eighths. And then we got this shoulder belt here. But it goes right here through the back of the seat. And I'm not sure why these uh, are Torx bits right here. It's a T50. But also the nuts on the inside of this are not captive nuts at all. So I don't know how we could put a man on the moon, but if you change a seat belt on a caterpillar, you have to tear the cushion part of the seat off to grab the nuts that are gonna fall off of every single one of those. So anyway, let's get into it. All right, so we got the buckle off right there. We've also went ahead and uninstalled this little shoulder belt piece right there. The old buckle laying down there on the ground. Now to start getting the back apart, so you can get to these shoulder ones. So we've taken the headrest out. It just slides right out. Then you gotta pull these out as well with just a little track or whatever that, the, that it slides into. They just slide right down into the chair, all the way down. Pull both those out. We have a couple Phillips bits here, four of them. We'll take those off. That's gonna allow us to lift the cushion away from the back and then we can get to the nuts that are on the back side of these, which are a T50. All right, we've got the back of the seat off. It's got these little clips right here. And those are gonna go into here. You'll click the bottom in, and then you'll just fold the seat back up. There's one of the screws we can't get all the way out. These are the nuts that are in question. They should be captive. These two are captive nuts. You can see the little tack weld there on them to hold them stationary. That's very nice. These ones, I have no idea why we didn't think to do that on these three bolts. There should be one here. Somebody's already been here, obviously changed this seat belt out. Now that bolt is gone. All right, we got the bolts loose. We didn't take them out yet though. So now I've slid the seat all the way forward and tilted the back all the way forward as well. Now we are behind the seat. We have one bolt down here hidden. You probably, I don't even know if you guys can see it. There it is. Uh, that's also a 5 8 We'll yard that out. Then we could go start going back together with it. All right, there's all the old seat belt components. We are ready to go back together with the new stuff. So we're going back together with it. The main thing, you just obviously don't want to have any twists in this once you go back together with it right so we got all the twists out of this one we're gonna cinch this all the way down you pull these cardboards off last that's what's gonna make it all retract in uh, and if you pull that off early then you just end up fighting it because it's pulled out so far as it retracts in it like ratchets in so then you can't pull it out till you retract it all the way and then you can pull it out so it's best just leave those on pull them off at the end and the same on this one, same thing. You don't want any twists in that when you go to reinstall everything. So let's continue getting it all buttoned up, bring you guys back for the finished product, and then we'll put the dates on the seatbelt with the uh, stickers. They're good for three years after the install date. 
wanted to bring you guys back one more time and show you. This is those sleeves that the headrest slides in. Well, you can see how it goes through here. Kind of pins the cushion, if you will, from here to the chair itself. So you gotta pull those. And then, like I said, the four screws. It's also keyed. You can see a little key right there. You can see it's keyed up there on the top. So if you can't get one of these out, you need to twist it until you line that keyway up. It'll come right out for you. One thing I forgot to mention, guys, when you put these in, the keyways to the back, you'll put it in there, and then you're going to lift it out, and you'll turn it 90 degrees so that this is on the inside. And then that's what's going to engage with these little cutouts so you can have your headrest height. Another thing, these seat belts come with the new bolts. It's got these little cardboard backers on there to just to kind of help keep the bolt from falling out. A lot of times they're cinched down so tight you can't hardly turn the bolt by hand. So if you hold that and loosen the bolt one or two turns, then it makes it a lot easier when you go to put it in here and start the, uh, the bolt. It's pretty tight quarters down in there. But just a little tip to help you guys out. All right, something else. You can't get just these stickers. You have to buy an entire seat belt to get this sticker right here. And what you do is you punch out the install date, November 21. If the seat belt is good for three years after that date that it's installed or until it gets frayed and worn out beforehand. Now, if the seat belt's in great shape and it's past the three years, it needs to be replaced. And that's according to M. Shaw. Might, might also be according to Caterpillar spec as well. I'm not for certain. Maybe an M. Shaw and a Caterpillar thing. But basically Caterpillar has certified it to protect you in the event of a collision for three years from the install date. Just notice this while I'm cleaning up tools. We're low on cooling on the after cooler side. So since we're already here, we might as well fill it up. Ready to go.